Hello there, neighborinos. I got a couple good, uh, good sized tidbits and news for you tonight. First one, however, is a little bit disappointing. Disappointing because it is, well, let, let's just say AT&T has their hands in it. And you know, just as well as I do, or at least some of you do, what AT&T does to their products. So, AT&T and Magic Leap have worked together to make an AR headset. Problem is, though, that headset is at least five times more expensive than anything else you can find on the market. That thing is coming in at $2,300. And on top of that, it doesn't even have the functionality, the 5G functionality, that they claim that it does for this creator's edition headset thing that they've that they've announced so because of the exceptionally high price point chances are it is well it is going to be a waste of money because a the technology even if that technology is is there in order for it to reach a broader spectrum of audience or in, in order for it to in, in order for it to bring in the the eyes of future developers then it would need to reach a wider audience meaning that you wouldn't really have much of anything to do on it and because of that, things like this will not really be coming for a few years down the line when the technology necessary to make it goes down in price, which is going to come when everything that, well, all, all of that necessary research goes further and, and pushes us more in that direction. So... I guess that's about it for that story. Links, as always, can be found in the description below. So, keep an eye out for those. The next bit is a little bit more disappointment. And that is essentially why we can't really expect to do too much cloud, cloud gaming through VR anytime soon. And that is during an AR mixed reality demo done by Scott Hayden at Road to VR back in March. Um, there was quite a bit of latency involved and not a lot of processing power. And simply put, that entire setup, well... Long story short, it didn't work out too well. So, obviously, as with the previous story, it's going to take quite a bit of time for anything like that to occur. And that, in turn, means that the cost of entry into, into VR in any, in any fashion is going to require a, either a high-end computer or a PlayStation 4, or possibly even a PlayStation 5, is, since those are likely to launch. Honestly, my best estimate would be spring 2020, but, you know, rumors, speculation, blah, blah, blah. But even still, there were a couple different demos, one of them being super hot. And if you haven't already seen my videos, super hot is a, a very time dependent game. And that latency, even having latency in a game like that can be severely detrimental to your play style. Well, any play for that matter, doesn't even have to be your specific play style just because 
time still flows. Although it may not seem like it, time still flows when you're stopped. So you can get shot in the head when you're standing still. So, yeah, uh, let's just move on to the next story, shall we? Should plug in at least one bit of good news. There was an industry report released earlier today stating that VR as an industry is likely to grow 31% between now and 2025, meaning that quite a few new developers may jump in this, into this space between now and then because they can see, even from the outside, that what we're sitting in is a $10 billion pie. Yeah. Probably. And chances are that may even be more considering this report not only touches on the consumer aspect, but the professional or or commercial aspects of it as well. So that being said, as previously stated, many different developers may jump into this industry. So again, so that may well lead to faster development times for games or more games being released or maybe even a combination of both so that that way even more research can be done and we can end up getting we, we can get what we want affordable VR games with an affordable entry point that's what I want that's probably what you want I'm, I'm not gonna make assumptions not too many at least so I guess let's move on a little bit more good news if you live in the Las Vegas, Nevada area. There will be an esports tournament at Lucky's Lounge at 7345 South Jones Boulevard between 5 and 12 on the 12th and 13th and 26th and 27th of this month. Uh, the different games are going to be Sprint Vector, Creed, and Raw Data. Sprint Vector, as you may know, is an, an interactive parkour game. Creed, you may have, you may recognize from a few different videos that I've put out. The most recent one I, I did was on an update that released a couple new fighters shortly after Creed 2 hit theaters. And those that do well in this tournament are supposed to be picked for a follow-up tournament by VR Arcade, yeah, by VR Arcade, and each of those, so yeah, during that tournament, there's a, they're going to be selling drinks and food and stuff, you know, it's a bar after all. What what are you going to expect? So by the looks of it, it also overlaps with the Level Up Expo coming to the Las Vegas Convention Center from the 26th to the 29th. So after you get done, after you get done, check it out the scores on the 26th and 27th, you can end up going to that expo at the convention center, check it out for a couple days, show off your new trophy after winning that, that esports tournament. Sounds like a good plan to me. Personally, I can't go because I live nowhere near Nevada. But if you guys feel like going, be my guest. They did not. They did not disclose how much the entrance fee is going to be. If there's going to be an entrance fee. Simply that they were going to be hosting this esports tournament. So. I guess let's move on to the final story, huh? And the final story of the night is the review of Vacation Simulator. Just when you've had enough of endless jobbing, then you'll be able to do some endless vacationing now too. There's a few different options available. You can go to the beach, to the mountains, 
or even the forest. As, as I'm sure you could guess, it's uh, kind of repetitive. But then again, Job Simulator is too. And since they're obviously going to be made by the same people, Alchemy Labs, you can expect quite a bit of, well, I, I guess similar qualities would be kind of a, an understatement. But then again, who, who else wants to do some endless beaching? May just give me the, the best way to give my, my staycation some actual light. All cooped up in this room all day, making videos and going back and forth to work and doing other stuff. But if you guys are up for it, it might just be something to keep your day alive. So, who knows? You just might be able to check it out. It's supposed to launch later this month on the 16th of April. So, no, wait, never mind. It, it launched today, didn't it? Never mind. So, check it out if you guys want to. It's available on Steam and PlayStation VR and all those. So, you know, go do your thing. And if you guys like the video, let me know. If you hated it, probably mostly for my voice or the fact that I just kept droning on and on and on and on about stuff. Let me know. And if you feel like throwing me into a fire that has horrible screaming corpses in the middle, let me know. Okay, bye.